Hi, I'm Tim Trotter, and today I'm going to show you how you can take a song from iTunes and put it in GarageBand and strip the vocals from it. Now, you can't actually strip the vocals out of songs from iTunes and GarageBand, but there is a trick that you can use using older songs, and I'm going to show you how. In this example, I've already pre-selected a song out of iTunes and dropped it onto my desktop. In this case, it's Ray Charles' What I'd Say. Take the file from the Finder and drag it over into the timeline in GarageBand. You should end up with this top line here. What you're going to want to do is have two tracks having the same audio file. To do that, click on the first track here and hit the keystroke Command D. That'll duplicate the track and open up a new line for you to place the same audio in. Go back to the finder and drag and drop your file back in. And you'll end up with something akin to this. Once you've got two strips of the same audio in the GarageBand timeline, you'll notice once you play. Hey, mama, don't you treat me wrong? Come and love you, daddy, all night. That it sounds like it should. But in order to strip the audio out of that, you need to take a look at the waveform. As you can see here, there's two different lines running across this bar. The top line is the left track, and the bottom line is the right track. You'll notice the left line is very different from the bottom line. The reason being, in an older recording like this, they used to record the vocals and the instrumentals on separate mono tracks. And then later, when stereo came around, they would then mix them into two different tracks in the left and the right ear. So to strip the vocals, what we need to do is pan the audio to the left or the right after we've located the vocal track. In this case, it's going to be on the left. So go to the track pan knob here, click it and drag it all the way to the left. Now, turn solo mode on by clicking this button here and hit play. As you can hear in the track, you've only got instrumentals playing with just some slight bleed through of Ray Charles' original vocals. Using this technique, you can strip vocals from older recordings. However, you can apply this trick to newer age music that's been recorded in the last decade or so. The reason being is the recording is different and you can't pull it out using this trick. But this can be helpful if you're trying to apply this music to, say, a slideshow or a home movie. Thanks for watching.